Also joining me about this case is Aaron Wilcox, the attorney representing the teachers. Aaron, can you tell me what's the basic premise of the lawsuit? The teachers basically want OEA and want OEA's regional affiliates to follow the law, follow these laws that protect their right as non-members not to pay for the union's political activities. Um, and they also want to be reimbursed for the money that the union and its um, affiliates have taken from them when it was not following the law in the past few years. So they want you know, the unions to comply in the future and they would like to be reimbursed for the money that should never have been taken from them before. What's the outcome that the teachers want from all of this? What are they hoping to have done? We have 15 teachers from across Ohio who are plaintiffs in this lawsuit and we are hoping to get class certification from the, for this lawsuit. And that would encompass all non-member teachers who have also had these monies taken from them um, in violation of the law. Well, certainly being a plaintiff in a lawsuit is a big commitment and something that you know, most people hope not to do. But these teachers feel so strongly that their rights should be protected both for themselves and for their coworkers, um, that they took the step and stood up for their rights. And uh, their reactions have been overwhelmingly supportive. They're excited to see this going, um, and they're excited to see the outcome. Anything else you want to say about this case, Erin? Do you think the teachers will have a successful outcome? I do. I think that this has been a problem for years in Ohio. Um, I think that the evidence, as we know it now, is, is fairly strong and fairly clear. And I think this is something that we can get out in the open and, and have resolved. Well, thanks a lot, Erin, for your time. I'm Teresa Rashid for EAG-TV.